Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Higher Truth production. Since our last video regarding the hemp industry and raising some concerns, we received significant criticism in a relative sense. Because we normally aren't receiving too much criticism lately for the videos that we're producing. But there were some concerns, and there still are concerns, about THC, about the terpenes, and about the disinformation being spread around. And, and if you're employed by a billion dollar industry, yeah, you would probably take exception if somebody criticizes your industry. But it's up to you guys to help clean up this industry. There's a lot of disinformation going around there. There's a lot of areas uh, open for exploitation. One of those areas of exploitation is the patenting of a synergistic relationship between a CBD and another molecule. Right now, uh, the differences between CBDs is very little. It's based upon what kind of oil did you dissolve or melt your CBD into. The hemp oil itself, hemp seed oil, is is got some great benefits, uh, but people are using olive oil and people are using other oils to dissolve their hemp into. Some people are actually putting CBDs in raw honey. And so it's very, very confusing market. And you're going to see all kinds of literature, some of it disinformation, some of it hyperbole, and who's going to tell you the truth? And so that's why we do a lot of investigative reporting into the CBD industry, because there are differences in CBDs, the way that you make them. Some people will have you believe that the only way you make CBD is with carbon dioxide extraction, but that is not true. You can use many different ways to extract your CBDs. One of them, of course, for cannabis oil is using isopropyl alcohol or butane. Okay, well, it, it tells you that the extraction for cannabis oil is non-toxic. Well, well, then go breathe some, breathe some butane, have a swig of isopropyl, and see if you're non-toxic. So we see in the literature things that just aren't quite accurate. And it's really the CBD's industry way of bashing hemp oil, which has been around for years. And some... Some people and their comparisons of hemp oil to CBD oil are more objective than others. But the production method of CBD oil is not just a CO2 extraction. You have to have special equipment for that. And the differences between CBDs is very minor sometimes. And in chemistry, the differences between a molecule that can help you and one that can kill you can be very minor. Look at CO2. Carbon dioxide is needed for plants to live. Carbon dioxide actually stimulates your respiratory centers. Your respiratory center is driven by carbon dioxide levels. But take away just one oxygen off that carbon, and you have one oxygen on a carbon, you have carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is toxic and can kill you, and is very difficult to recover from carbon monoxide poisoning. So just a slight difference in, in, in one molecule can make a huge world of difference in whether it's toxic or how toxic it is. The other thing about CBDs you don't hear about is how many other applications that have nothing to do with THC and CBD, how many other applications are available? Some of those applications drive down the cost of hemp, but the CBDs seem to be driving up the cost of hemp. So it's important that you understand where the vulnerabilities of a billion dollar industry lie. Can you bring down a billion dollar industry? Can one company do that? And the answer is yes. Okay. If a person gets hold of a patented synergistic molecule, they can attach it to their CBDs through one of different ways, of a couple different ways, 
and but the easiest is by create, creating liposomes or lipospheres and and if you got a patented compound that's synergistic you can then feature your CBD as superior to all other CBDs which would be the truth you could portray all other CBDs as inferior which would be true so then one person literally can end up controlling the entire CBD industry by gaining control of a patented synergistic molecule well are there patented synergistic molecules out there to make CBD work quicker faster and have better effects upon nerve pain well actually yes there is enter noble metals now you can't patent a metal but you can sure manufacture and patent a metallic compound one of those lucky ones is is the copper the cuprous nicotinic acid is otherwise known as copper one plus niacin now listen here this stuff absorbs so quickly into cells and incredibly fast that mixing it with with a CBD could produce some very encouraging results the cuprous nicotinic acid has so many applications in the human body that it's hard to imagine a CBD product that wouldn't be superior another thing copper would do would make the telomerase much much more effective uh, our DNA our, the caps of our DNA glow under visible light that glow looks like a metal and in fact many of the amino acids or nucleic acids found in DNA have metal bonding sites that attract copper silver or gold so imagine if you had a highly bioavailable form of let's say copper then then what would happen when you mix it with a CBD it would it would become incredibly absorbable it would be incredibly effective in what it does and it would put to shame all other CBDs on the market so you could literally bring down the entire CBD market just by gaining control of cuprous nicotinic acid and learning how to combine it with CBDs either through lipospheres or through chemical replacement reactions another thing that you know some of these metals do especially the ionized metals is they, they can donate electrons to the electron transport increasing your energy so if you had an, a highly oxygenated form of CBD uh, then you would have a fat, fat soluble pro-oxidant that it would help you with energy and help help decrease inflammation but then you'd be mixing it with something that does this similar things and it's in a different way so now you have a synergistic molecule that may help produce more energy than you're used to seeing another just for an example um, there's scientific study doctors have come out and said NAD which is a form of niacin may help brain injuries and may, may prevent aging so what happened was is one of those manufacturers of NAD decided to try to mix copper one into it and they succeeded and now their NAD plus product is one of the fastest growing NAD products on the planet why is because theirs contain a synergistic relationship to the copper one and in some times in some instances the copper may not be warranted or indicated it could be gold or silver or anything like that but currently today anything that you want to help with DNA transcription anything you want to help with anti-inflammation anything you want to help against bacteria then my goodness mixing the copper one with a high potency CBD will enhance the, the CBD and the copper one together so that is why NAD plus 
is is booming their sales are going through the ceiling and it's because they're mixing it with this copper one so all other NAD supplements I don't care what they're trying to do to it to enhance its effects they're never going to be as good as NAD plus so and, and if, if you would like to try some NAD plus uh, the doctors have talked about it as being anti-aging doctors have talked about it as being really relevant to brain injuries and improved cognition well we'll leave the link to the NAD plus it's amazing stuff and the sales are going through the ceiling not through marketing through word of mouth because this stuff works so how do you control the CBD industry how do you make your CBD product which is facing all kinds of competitors now superior well you increase the dosing 4,000 milligrams per dropper and that's better than the 1800 milligrams so the other is the type of oil you mix it with but lastly lastly is if you combine it with something that's synergistic that synergism will propel your product to new heights and if you can control that synergistic compound such as the NAD people are doing right now with the copper then you will take and you will make all CBD products inferior to your product and that's just the truth so that's concerning if somebody can demolish an entire CBD industry by simply controlling the copper one and the competitors are gonna have to hope that something like gold or silver is gonna be more advantageous than the copper one but I don't think so because the other forms of copper are not bioavailable and they can accumulate in extracellular and body organs and nerve tissue and become toxic over time so the copper one does not do that so it's important that people understand the differences in the minerals they're taking so this brief video I hope you uh, learned a lot from it and until next time you know, be healthy and I bid you peace